light in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederik will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive... I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you... I hope I won't have to. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. It's done. I have him. But something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't be. Yes. I'll bring him back to camp. He'll be safest with us. I need to examine him. I need to understand what's wrong. It's almost like something's missing from him. Come see us when you can. These lands may not be under the thrall of Lady Shah for much longer. The necessary sacrifice so that I can press onwards. The Dark Lady will understand, surely. Rings a bell? Why? Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking! They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. We'll see. Give me a while to put my imagination to work. <laughs> 